Okay, in this video we're going to go ahead and uh, graph uh, two equations on our calculator and we're going to try and find the solution by looking at the graph. The solution is going to uh, be shown by where the two graphs cross each other. That's where they are equal to each other. So in order to do that we're going to put in both equations. We do that by using the y equal key. So this is in the top left. We click that button. And we're going to put in the first equation that's on the left. So that's 3.24x uh, minus 4.09. Okay, and then we're going to arrow down to our second spot and we're going to put in the equation that is on the right. Now be careful, we're not going to use a minus sign, we're going to use a negative sign, which is located towards the bottom of the calculator, and it's 0.72x, and we're adding 3.65. Okay, both equations entered. We're going to go ahead and hit our graph button that's going to graph both equations. And it's just thinking here. And the window might be off a little bit. So I'm going to hit the window button. And you can see here with mine, your, yours may have shown up, but this is a good mistake here uh, because this is uh, this x min is the, the smallest x value that the display is going to show. This is the largest. And so uh, this is definitely not going to show the lines that I've graphed. So if I'm not seeing anything, a quick fix to kind of start from uh, uh, the standard setting is if you hit the zoom button, which is located right here towards the top, and we're going to select 6 uh, for standard. So you can just hit the 6 button, and this is our default window viewing. Okay, so what we're going to see here is if you see the mouse pointer, uh, this is where the two lines intersect. So what I want to do is I want to find uh, what this value is. And if I hit the trace button, what that's going to do is you'll notice this little cursor shows up, tells me what my x value is at this flashing dot, and it tells me what my y value is. Now we've been solving for x, so that's all we're concerned about right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to arrow to the right, and you'll see that the cursor moves. And this is an approximation. And if I kind of go, okay, so that's a little too far. So I'm going to go back one more. And that's pretty much right where the two lines intersect. So based on graphing the solution, I'm getting an approximate value of 1.91. And that would be the approximate solution for x in the equation that's given. Now, if we were to do it by hand, we might get a slightly different answer. Um, this isn't extremely accurate. There's a different way to do that, and that's further on in the class. But this is, gives us a good approximate way to check our math to make sure that we've done the right thing. We can graph it real quick on our calculator. Uh, you might have gotten, I believe, the answer is 1.95. The calculator showed 1.91. Um, hey, look, we did the right math. We can go ahead and move on to the next problem.